Here we are, happy Friday Vantage. Let's dive into this training session. Today, we've got a little bit of an endurance piece. So we're gonna start off with a 1.25 mile run. You're welcome. From there, we're gonna go into 30 burpee pull-ups. Again, you're welcome. And then we finish with 60 sit-ups. Cool, let's take a look at the no equipment option for you at home. We've got again, 1.25 mile run, followed by 30 burpees plus a reverse burpee. So you'll do one burpee and then go right into a reverse burpee. I love you too. From there, you're gonna finish with 60 sit-ups. Now, looking at this workout, we're aiming for somewhere around 20 minutes, okay? Maybe a little bit more, maybe a couple minutes under, but the goal should be around that 20 minute mark. Strategy, we're looking at running, nice and consistent pace. Find something that, that's sustainable for that, that 1.25 miles, right? You wanna be going at a quick pace, but not all out, certainly not all out for your mile, because you've got these next 30 burpee pull-ups. Now, find your good pace, stay with it, coming in. I want you at a pace coming back through the door or back to your house so that you can get right to that bar and go right into your first set of burpee pull-ups. Now, with this, I want you to move at a consistent pace. Lower yourself down into that burpee, pop right back up, and you can jump and go into that pull-up. Now, if you are doing burpee pull-ups, you don't have to go into a dead hang and then do a strict pull-up. You can assist and jump yourself up, just pulling your chin up and over the bar. So we'll go at a nice pace for this. Again, try to move as soon as you commit to going all the way down, all the way up, take a deep breath, jump into that pull-up, breathe down all the way back up and over that bar. Once you get to the 60 sit-ups, have at it. Be smart, be consistent, but really just kind of hammer away at this. 60 sit-ups can be pretty quick, especially if it's unweighted. If you're just moving through that body weight, go as quick as you can. Small little breaks at the top, try not to lay down. When you lay down, it's gonna slow you down because you're gonna wanna lay there for an extended period of time. Whew, take a deep breath at the top, and then down and up, down and up. Now, when it comes to the no equipment option, 1.25 miles, nice and consistent. From there, your 30 burp ups, burp ups, that's a new exercise. Here, 30 burpee into reverse burpee. Do your burpee, take a deep breath into your reverse burpee, take a deep breath. This might be a little bit slower than if you were doing the burpee pull-ups, but I want you to be more consistent with it, right? Just keep moving through it, chop away at it, think sets of five to six reps, <sighs> take a sigh and then boom, into that next set. You don't have to blaze through these, but I do want you moving consistently. Uh, from start to finish. And again, when you get to your 60 sit-ups, have at it, have at it. Just 60 short reps, real quick, real easy. And then you're done for the week, unless you wanna do something on Saturday. All right, guys, if you do have a full gym option, the at-home workout is 1,500 meter row. Again, kind of think about chopping this up into sections of 500 meters in your mind, right? We wanna go, nice strong 500, cool. Settle in for that second 500. And then again, you're finishing with that beautiful, strong, consistent 500 meters for a total of 1500. And then you're going into your burpee pull-ups. Now your 1500 meter row, find something that is consistent. Again, you're looking at that somewhere between like 145 to 205 if you're a guy, somewhere between 155 and like 215 if you're a lady. All right, find something settling but consistent, right? We don't wanna have all, we don't wanna have you all over the place on that road. We wanna find a consistent pace and try to keep it through all three sections of that 1500. Now from there, your 30 burpee pull-ups again, just like you're doing if you've got the at-home version, I want you guys to move nice and consistent, breathing and moving as one smooth unit. If you need to stop, stop in the standing position. Try not to stop when you get into that burpee. From there, we've got 45 toes to bar. Be smart about this, okay? I don't know how many sit-ups you've been doing, I don't know how many toes to bar you've been doing, but when you get into these 45 toes to bar, be smart about it and break it up frequently with short breaks, right? So do a set of five, take that five to 20 second break, pop back up, do that next set of five, and just keep methodically going through it. Have a plan and then have a backup plan. 
Because if fives start to fail, where are you going to and how quick are those breaks gonna be, All right? I'd rather you guys have short breaks and small sections of reps as opposed to trying to go for a big set and then taking that long extended break. All right, y'all, if you have any questions, reach out to your coaches on True Coach. Have a great workout, a great Saturday and Sunday if we don't talk to you. Train hard, and we'll see you guys online.